The Arc de Triomphe lights up in tribute to victims of terrorism after a dramatic day in Paris. Good evening, everybody. After days of madness there, there are dramatic developments in the hunt for terrorists who attacked their French satirical newspaper. Tonight, three suspects have been killed after two separate hostage sieges come to an end. The two suspects in Wednesday's shooting at the newspaper office were killed by police. The brothers had been on the run since the shooting until they were cornered by authorities in a warehouse today. Also killed in a separate but related siege at a kosher grocery store is another hostage taker, but a woman who was with him is still on the run. Both operations to end the standoffs started at nearly the same time. French security forces say Saeed and Sharif Kouachi came out of the printing warehouse with guns blazing and officers killed them. Authorities say both men had links to Al-Qaeda. Both had said they wanted to die as martyrs, which they did today. Police say their hostage was not injured in the gunfire. And just about the same time, forces moved in on the grocery store, and many of the hostages there were able to run away. But three of the hostages were also killed, along with the suspect, who authorities say is linked to the newspaper gunman. A police official said just minutes before the raid, the gunman at the market threatened to kill his hostages if French authorities launched an attack on the two brothers. Police believe the gunman at the store was also responsible for killing a Paris police officer yesterday. President Obama expressed support for the people of France in the wake of the attack. And France is our oldest ally. Uh, I want the people of France to know that the United States stands with you today, stands with you tomorrow. Our thoughts and prayers. Uh, are with the families who have been uh, directly impacted. Uh, we grieve with you. We fight alongside you to uphold our values, the values that we share. And coming up after this newscast, the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley will have more on today's developments with reports from Paris. Also, a former CIA deputy director will share insight into today's events and the actions by the French security forces.